Hi, I'm Natalie Kent from Sacred Business and this is Pearls of Wisdom. I'm coming to you from North Queensland, Australia and today I want to talk about power. Now power is something that is very misunderstood in this world. We either swing one end of the spectrum and feel disempowered and unable to create change or we go into overpowering and dominating situations so that we can feel safe and secure. And we see this all the time in the media, you know, corporations raping the earth just to make a profit and animals dying everywhere all the time for money. And what is this really about? It's actually about power. Now let me start by telling you a story. When I was very young, probably about six years old, I used to look around and feel quite depressed about what I saw. People cutting down trees, people polluting the earth, killing animals, just generally living miserable lives. And what it made me do is actually retreat. I retreated into my own, part of me did, part of me retreated into my own fantasy world because reality was just too much to bear. And as a sensitive little thing, I just grew up this way with kind of one foot in reality and one foot out. And only in the last few years have I started to coax that little girl out of the closet because she cannot live there if she wants to make a difference. And this is something I'm still grappling with at all, all the time, especially traveling around this beautiful country, Australia, seeing natural places that once when I went traveling eight years ago were pr more pristine and now the trees are all gone or there's a mine there or there's more pollution or there's always something that inside makes me go, <gasps> it breaks me. And I have a choice when that happens. I can use that break as a platform, as fuel, to make me stand up even taller for what I do believe in. And this is why power is important for sacred entrepreneurs. We must become powerful creators if we want to change this planet so that it's somewhere we actually want to live. Somewhere that makes us happy when we look out the window in the morning and we see the sun. And we don't see pollution, but we see beautiful trees. Like right now, I can see this beautiful mountain and it's covered in pristine rainforest. And this is so rare, I think there's only two places in Australia where you can see this. Because in all the other places it's gone, the trees are gone. And the trees are our life force. The trees feed us. They allow us to breathe. And so every tree that is cut down it takes, it cuts down a part of us. It takes a piece of us with it. So when it comes to creating a sacred business that has a positive impact in this world, we have to dig deep to not only find hope but to find the inner resources we need to stand up. To stand up for what we believe in. And there are three main currencies of power. Time, money, and energy. So if you find yourself saying, I don't have enough time, I don't have enough money, I feel drained, I don't have enough energy, then you are losing power. And at any time you can choose to turn that around, 
You can choose to leverage your time better. Spend your time on things that really have the outcome that you desire. You can have more money if you choose to approach your work seriously from a place of appreciation for what you have now. And you can have more energy. You can absolutely have more energy when you focus your time on the things that energize you, that fill you up, that feed your soul. So my wish for you as a sacred entrepreneur is that you become powerful in the currencies of time, money and energy so that you can stand with me for the planet, for life itself. Because the planet and we and I need you to do that. Thank you for listening. I'll see you next time.